Hey, good morning. Uh, ben with you once again for Stew on the Lake. Kind of a fun little project going on this morning. We have the hummingbird feeders up. I thought it'd be kind of fun to build a little prototype and see what we got. Turned out a little bulky, but certainly the con proof of concept is there. Started with a pretty slim piece of basswood, a mason jar with just the ring on there. The trickiest part of the whole thing was right there on my thumb. You can see I used a uh, ceramic and a diamond bit alternating and managed to drill a little hole for a wire to go up through without breaking the glass, which is unique. Patience right there is the word on that. Need a pattern. Kind of planned on building a bowl shape for the bottom with a plate that sits across the top and uh, might as well make it a four banger with four flowers. There's the base on the bowl. The way this works, obviously, is the uh, jar sits down lower into the bowl at a certain height, kind of like a, a chicken watering uh, system of old, or the, the newer dog or cat continuous watering systems. So they drink a little bit, and the water level comes right back to the level of the bottom of the jar sitting in this bowl. So first we need to make a bowl. nice and hollowed out it'd be uh, as I got more into this I thought you could really make some precision pieces these two pieces on the lathe a lot quicker but I didn't uh, feel like setting up the big lathe to do that plus it's kind of a handmade carving show It's a piece of old pine set out there that's going to make the top, obviously not the knotted portion on that. Make it a little bit bigger, kind of looking like a flying saucer. ready to set the put a make this a little bit thinner on the bottom side so it caps over top of the bowl not a hundred percent sure that this was this step was necessary I'm trying to get the center portion and the lid set down there and I realized that the lid set even in with the bottom of that when I glue it in and it wasn't going to work so design issues. That's what happens when you make a prototype. So I made a ring to extend it a little further down into the bowl. And then that ring, of course, to complicate stuff, has to be inset into the lid or the top cover plate. So again we go. Carbide burrs, power carving. That's with the, oh, those things are all down there in the link. I suggest you stick around for a few more minutes. I'm going to show you some hummingbirds that will come up in a future video. And they're more along the lines of things that I normally carve. This is just goofy stuff. I'll probably make another one of these. and uh, Next time I'll probably make it out of metal uh, just for fun. Seems it might be a little bit overkill. Brazing a hummingbird feeder all up in metal or uh, God forbid get the tig out and there's those hummingbirds uh, I make them for various different things they're kind of easy to do because they just this whatever shape of little piece of wood you have those hummingbirds are twisting and contorting in the air this guy here is pretty straightforward in a flower I just set these in a plant Kind of subtle in the background in house plant. As always, please subscribe, comment, 
I'd like to hear your comments. I gotta admit, this thing was turning out a little bulkier than I wanted, but I really didn't have any choice. Uh, being a prototype, you gotta finish it, right? It is kind of a proof of concept. There's a rough out flower shapes. Didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on making them pretty. Obviously, you can take all the time you need if you're going to build one of these. And I suggest you make it a lot smaller and a lot thinner than I did. There, we got all the dimensions right. I think the jar sits down in there pretty good. We don't want too much in there. This stuff needs to be changed every uh, couple days. Originally, I thought the wood would be just fine. They, they've used wood for wood tanks for years. New York City still has tons of wood tanks up on the on the rooftop. And then I got concerned about sugar water sitting in there and fermenting and uh, chickened out. And I I put an epoxy base in the bottom of the bowl. And a little bit more on that later. Went ahead and rounded the top over. Again, bulky and thick. On the subsequent ones, if I build some, they'll be a lot thinner. Concerned the bowl wasn't deep enough. I gotta admit, way too much thought went into this thing. You can go down to the store. A dollar store has these things for three dollars and a piece. And I'm sure they work just fine. And You'd be pretty hard pressed to spend more than 30 bucks for a pretty nice one that works just great. Holes drilled in the rims, three minute or five minute epoxy. I don't know why I keep diverting to three minutes. Upon hindsight, I would have probably went with flat flowers. Although that takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? No carbon. Hey, here's a uh, piece of clock pivot wire that I like to work with. It's fairly stiff. It's kind of like piano wire in a way. I just put a, a hook bend in the bottom of that, and I'll thread it up through this, this jar. You, you won't see that, but I'll put a dop drop of uh, epoxy on there and, and a hook on this other end. I guess that's what I'm doing now is building a hook. Time to epoxy the the bowl to the other got kind of sloppy here at this point I wasn't sure if I liked it or not and I'm still not real keen on the design of this but I continue on we'll continue on and finish it up I would make that a lot thinner and whatnot there's a Joson Josonia paints uh, those are the ones I use to carve decoys. I just kind of like it. It has a, it's an acrylic, and uh, they are a little pricey, but I, I like the way they blend in the colors. This is not necessarily a fine paint job, as I'm just going to smather it on, and you'll see. I take a little autistic license later and smear some yellow in there, which is probably overkill. Should have left it straightforward. There you go. See that autistic going on in there? A little bit of, uh, I don't even know what you call that. There's the whole thing put together, sitting outside the window. Uh, I put it up and I let it sit there for about an hour. And I did have birds come around looking at it and a couple drank from it. Never caught them on camera. Then I took it down. I'm kind of leery of the uh, epoxy in there. So I'll make another one without it. So as always, like, subscribe, and uh, hey, thanks for watching.